Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and good morning to my dear students. Uh, every time and each time I am going to introduce new format to you. Uh, it's all because uh, I want to facilitate you and uh, give a closer look to you uh, that what we are doing. Uh, yes, we are doing this book and we are at chapter uh, number 5 and exercise 5.7 I suppose. Uh, 5.7 or 5.6 let me see that uh, at what exercise uh, are B uh, so my dear students we are at exercise number 5.7 yes we are at exercise 5.7 and it is all about percentages I have already uh, told you about the percentages and uh, today I am going to demonstrate you uh, some questions of exercise 5.7 uh, it is very easy exercise and hope that it will uh, be covered in our stipulated time stipulated time uh, so uh, let me start this exercise uh, very quickly uh, so we'll there are two questions uh, in this uh, exercise and each of them having uh, almost there are uh, 10 parts in one and five to six parts in another uh, that means there are 15 parts in uh, total two questions so i've already told you about the uh, percentages percentage mean percent percent means for every hundred for every hundred you have to find uh, the value which is given to you so uh, in which in the first question you are uh, seeing that uh, mm, we have to convert uh, we have to convert the following uh, of the following percentages into fractions and in their simplest form first we have to uh, convert them into fractions and then we have to uh, make them into this simplest form so let us start uh, our new exercise uh, it is exercise 5.7 exercise 5.7 so i'll be doing first question now the question is as i told you convert each of the following percentages we are given with the percentage and we have to uh, convert them into simplest uh, fractional form so let me start with question number one part a and that is 70 percent as i told you percentage percent means for every hundred for every hundred now 70 percent means 70 for every hundred for example if there are 200 then what does it mean 70 percent 140 70 for 170 for another for, uh, another hundred so uh, if we accumulate if we uh, give a cumulative result it will become 140 so it to convert uh, 70 percent we have to remove this sign we have to remove this sign and to remove this sign we have to divide it with 100 because it is for every hundred it is for every hundred that means just as uh, the total marks suppose there are 100 total marks and you obtain 70 out of it so it means 100 70 for each hundred for every hundred or 70 percent so my dear students it is very easy now to bring it into simplest form uh, in addition I'll also tell you how to bring it into decimal form so first what is the question question is that we have to bring it into the simplest form of fraction so it is very easy because both of them are uh, divisible by 5 5 1 times and 5 4 times 
फाइव वन टाइम्स एंड फाइव फोर टाइम्स ट्वेंटी एंड फाइव टू टाइम्स टेन एंड जीरो अगेन इट इज डिविजिबल बाय टू नाउ इट इज इक्वल टू टू सेवन टाइम्स एंड टू टेन टाइम्स नाउ दिस इज द फ्रैक्शन व्हिच इज द सिंपलेस्ट फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेवेंटी परसेंट इट इज द सिंपलेस्ट फ्रैक्शन ऑफ द सेवेंटी परसेंट बट इफ आई वांट टू कन्वर्ट इट इनटू डेसिमल फ्रैक्शन व्हाट विल हैपन यू सी अवर क्वेश्चन व्हेन वी कन्वर्टेड इट इनटू हंड्रेड फॉर्म इन इन फ्रैक्शन फॉर्म व्हाट appeared in the denominator was 100 so what we do is we just count we just count 0 above 0 you see 0 above 0 7 above 0 and where zeros and one comes out and what we do is we just count the zeros One two yes one two and uh, in the denominator and count the digits in the numerator so or you can also skip this zero with this zero okay now what happens you see that we have left only with one digit in the numerator and two digits in denominator so if I just place seven above zero and instead of one i put a point over here okay now it will become 0.7 now this is the situation if we want to bring it into decimal fraction okay this is in the simplest form fraction in simplest form and this is the decimal fraction okay now i hope you would have understood this point well my dear students uh, let me proceed uh, to another question and uh, that is f because from a to e the question are based on same format uh, b c d e but this is uh, a little different question because a point is coming in between uh, so question number f 2.5% so what we do we remove this sign we will remove this sign and place 100 underneath it a place a hundred underneath it so we have removed the sign and we will place 100 you see that i am uh, placing this 100 uh, in a little awkward fashion fashion uh, and that is a uh, slightly towards left side don't worry uh, it is just to uh, make you understand now you see this point we have to remove this sign also this point also so we remove this sign so we remove this sign and just as we did in the first question part a that we placed point over 1 place point over 1 in the numerator there was 10 or 100 in the denominator so by placing each digit on zero when zeros were finished one came out and one uh, on one we placed point similarly we'll place one underneath one underneath point and then zeros there is one digit after point so there will be only one zero or it is as i told you in my some previous lecture it is the 10th digit 10th digit so 2.5 now has become 25 upon 
ट्वेंटी फाइव अपॉन टेन नो इफ यू जस्ट कैल सॉल्व इट नाउ नो दिस इज ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड वन हंड्रेड मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन विल बिकम वन थाउजेंड इट विल बिकम वन थाउजेंड सो यू सी वी हैव टू ब्रिंग इट इन टू दि सिंपलेस्ट फ्रैक्शन सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म वी हैव टू ब्रिंग इट इन टू दि सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म सो इट इज डिविजिबल बाई फाइव सो इट इज डिविजिबल बाई फाइव सो वट वी डू इज फाइव फाइव टाइम्स फाइव फाइव टाइम्स एंड फाइव टू टाइम्स फाइव जीरो एंड फाइव जीरो अगेन फाइव वन टाइम्स एंड फाइव फोर टाइम्स एंड जीरो सो द सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म हैज बिकम नाउ इज वन अपॉन फोर्टी बट टू ब्रिंग इट इन टू डेसीमल फ्रैक्शन दिस इज द एडिशनल थिंग विच इज आई एम डूइंग फॉर यू दिस इज नॉट गिवन इन टू योर बुक बट दिस इज एडिशनल थिंग योर आंसर फिनिशेज हेयर योर आंसर फिनिशेज हेयर ओके योर आंसर फिनिशेज हेयर बट दिस इज द एडिशनल थिंग विच इज आई एम गोइंग टू डू फॉर यू इज दैट when we write like this when we write like this there are three zeros so write one zero below each digit so there is another zero so there is another zero and then comes one you see that 5 has written on zero 2 has written on zero and One zero is vacant and one one is vacant. So what we do here, we simply push this zero upwards. We simply push this zero upwards, and it will become. And for one, what we did in our this and this will just invert. We'll put a point, a point. Now this zero tell us that there is nothing in the unit. there is nothing in the unit so there is a zero when there is nothing in the unit there is zero always a zero in okay there is nothing in the unit so this is zero now for this zero we have pushed it upwards so zero and 2 and 5 so this is the on decimal fraction decimal fraction this is the simplest form of the fraction simplest fraction now let me do part k out of it and that is part k and part k states that 0.25% now you see that in our first question second f part part f it was 2.5% it was 2.5% it was 2.5% now it is 0.25% it is 0.25% the uh, action the format will remain the same the format will remain the same now how we'll do it we'll just remove the first thing we have to do is to remove this percentage sign and removing by per, uh, the percentage sign we have to Put hundred, so it becomes point two five one hundred for this, and point for point there should be one for two it is zero for five it is zero, so this is removed, so this is removed. so we have come up with 25 divided by 10000 now if you multiply all these there are four zeros 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 zeros now the same procedure as we did it in the um, first question uh, pre sorting question so it was 5 5 times and 5 2 times 0 0 0 again 5 1 times And five four times and zero zero. So it has become one upon four hundred. In 
simplest form this is the simplest form and if it if we do it in the decimal fraction what will be it will become it was 25 upon 20 10,000 so this will become so 5 for this 0 2 for this 0 and there are two zeros we have to push upwards so point zero zero two five point zero zero two five will be the answer now one more question for you and that is the last part of question number one and that is i and it states that point zero zero two zero point zero zero there are two zeros yes there are two zeros and then the percentage sign now again what we have to do is we have to remove this sign so what we do 0 0.002 and divided by 100 for this 100 always come for this percentage sign you can see in my all questions that 100 has come instead of this sign instead of this sign instead of this sign okay now 100 to remove the sign of percentage 100 to remove the sign of percentage then we will remove the sign as well uh, the point as well we will remove the point as well now the point has been removed but to remove the point we have to uh, put one under this point then zero for this zero this zero and for this two it is again zero so what will become over here it will become now two because uh, at the left hand side the zero has no value uh, so it will become one two three four five one two three four and five so it is very easy again two one times and two five times ten zero 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 now it has become one upon fifty thousand it has become one upon fifty thousand and if uh, we do it in the other manner uh, which has not been asked yes it is it has not been asked to you but uh, for your knowledge for sake of your knowledge i am doing it so it is two upon hundred thousand it is two upon hundred thousand so this is one hundred thousand so only two has been consumed just chisels push them upwards and then put a point over here okay uh, so it is point four zeros zero 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 and two so this is your required answer this is your required answer which is asked to you now proceed to question number two question number two states express the following fraction as percentages now we have to reverse the process now now uh, the um, percentages or uh, the fractions are given and we have to uh, find their fractions we have to elaborate them into the fractions now first question question number part uh, question number two part a is uh, three out of five now you just uh, you just uh, consider that there were numbers there were numbers in a test the total numbers were five and you got three out of them so how will you find that if there were hundred numbers and what you got was how much so simply you have to convert each of the following into the hundreds into hundreds so you have to uh, multiply it it with 20 and divide it with 20 so if you cross each other you uh, see that only one will become only one will be the answer so uh, logically logically we have multiplied it with one logically we have multiplied it with one but we have also taken our uh, question as well at the same time so what we do three 20 times is 60 and 5 20 times is 100 so it means that uh, if there were 100 numbers for that same question 
we scored 60 marks out of it we scored 60 marks out of it so this is the uh, required fraction uh, this is the required fraction uh, or you can also uh, do it like this so this is the required fraction but you know that we have to convert it in because this was the fraction given to us so 60 we, we scored 60 marks out of 100 so that means that 60 for every 100 60 for every 100 now this 100 will have to be removed now this 100 will have to be removed just as we remove the sign of percentage in the first question we'll remove this 100 sign from here or 100 digits from here uh, so what we did in our first question that we uh, change the sign of percentage into 100 now we have to uh, convert the 100 into sign of percentage now for 100 now it means 60 for every 100 now 60 percent is your answer <clears throat> now dear viewers and students uh, part number b c d are as um, same as part number a uh, let me proceed to part number e now now it is little different you see we have here is 8 divided by 200 now I told you to make 100 in denominator so what would we do we divide it with the number that it will become 100 so what is that number yes of course 2 so we will divide this with 2 and 2 uh, and to balance it we'll have to multiply it with 2 by 2 that is in fact what we do is 2 divided by 2 is 1 2 divided by 2 is 1 so we are multiplying the whole fraction with 1 but we will return our question and so what we have do, uh, done over here is now this is divisible by 2 so it will become 100 and this will become 4 so now we will remove this 100 mark and we will change it, it into the um, percentage mark so it will become 4% so question number F question number 2 part f now it is a little different question now it is only 5 upon 12 now you see that we cannot make this 12 as 100 so it is very difficult to make it 100 so what we do is we just multiply it 100 to make it a percentage because suppose that uh, there was a question which has a total marks of 12 we got 5 out of it and if you want to make, uh, you know, see that how much marks just suppose that there was a question which had 12 marks so we got 5 out of it so multiplying with 100 we will get the percentage straight percentage of it now this will become 500 divided by 12 simple 500 divided by 12 4 times 48 and 2 20 and 1 times 12 8 count uh, came out of it so it will become 41 8 divided by 12 now this will this is divisible by 2 4 divided by 6 or 2 divided by 3 so it will become 41 whole 2 divided by 3 percent so my dear student the lecture for today is uh, finished so i request you to like subscribe and share okay okay it's time to say you goodbye allah hafiz